Hey y'all, welcome back to Deep Fried Honey, and today we're gonna make fried French toast. So I picked up a loaf of French bread from the grocery store bakery, and I'm slicing that into pieces, slices. I'm about an inch thick. Toss them all in a bowl, and then you wanna get to work on your custard. Um, for the liquid ingredients, it's gonna be heavy cream, three eggs, and some vanilla extract. And you wanna really whisk it together. Um, you don't want any streaks of eggs, you want everything well combined. And after you have that all ready, set it aside, and work on your dry. That is self-rising flour, powdered sugar, cinnamon, and a pinch of salt. You wanna whisk that together as well, and then you're gonna combine the two. Um, it's important to whisk vigorously for a while. You don't want there to be any lumps in the custard. After it's made, go ahead and drop in your bread. Um, how long you let your bread soak is up to you. Um, everybody likes their insides a little different. Um, I'm using a little bit of batter to test the oil. It was ready, as you can see, it started bubbling. Now, this is what happens when you don't allow the excess to drip off of your French toast. It ends up kind of going everywhere and yeah. If you like this, if you, I mean, those little crunchy pieces of, of custard on the edges are really delicious, but if you want your oil to stay cleaner um, and you want your French toast to look a little neater, let the excess drip off. Um, I use a rack to take the soaked pieces and kind of let them rest. And as you can see, um, they turn out much, much neater, um, much cleaner looking. So kind of depends on what you're going for, what you want. Um, if you choose not to let the excess kind of drip off, you'll want to um, clean the oil between batches so that you don't get little burnt bits. Um, but you just fry it. Um, I did about three minutes on each side over medium high heat. slightly sweet on their own because there's powdered sugar in the custard but not very sweet um, so I still like to dust them with powdered sugar um, my daughters chose to eat them with syrup they wanted even more sweetness I just ate them bare um, but I'll show you what the insides of the pieces I made for myself look like kind of just looks like bread in there um, I don't like that mushy feel but if you want that just soak the bread a little longer and voila that's it you've got fried french toast um as always i really appreciate you spending a few minutes of your day with me thank you for watching and i hope you have a good one bye